Salut, in today's video we will take a look at a very useful motion builder tool, the time wrap. I'll explain what is the time wrap and how to use it. So let's start. The time warp is like a rubber band that can be put on top of your F curves uh, to manipulate many curves at the same time. It's a feature that is very useful when dealing with motion capture and having the needs to play with the timing. It makes possible slow down, for example, or opening a pose for a longer period of time without having to move keys in the timeline one by one. So to demonstrate, I'll pick an animation from Motion Builder's mocap file, which is Batswing. This bat swing is way too realistic. I would like to give a little bit more punch. It's the right moment to use the time wrap and give this animation a first retiming pass. To use the time wrap, I'll go in F curve and I'll check this little box here, unable time wrap display. Now I need to create a time wrap curve. So simply by clicking create. At this stage, this curve is not affecting anything, any controller at all. In this case, I want the time wrap curve to affect the whole body of my character. To do that, I just need to select all of the controllers. Then I need to select all of the transformation that I need the curve to affect. And then simply click on apply. You should see all of the F curve of your animation in the shadow of the time wrap display. At this point, you can unselect everything. The F curve is still affecting all of this curve. So moving this key, for example, we change the speed of the animation to very fast or the other way around to very slow. I wanted to make this animation a little more punchy. So I'll make the swing a little bit faster and I will hold the pose a little bit longer after the swing. To do that, I'll put a key before the swing. Another key after the swing. And another key a little bit further like here, for example. Now, if I move this key just a little bit before like this, this very small change is making the bat swing a lot more punchy. Let's try a little bit faster. That's way too much. I'm satisfied with this result. What I have to do now is merge the result with the base animation. So I need to reselect all of the controllers, the transform, click on the curve and simply press the merge button. You still can use that curve if you want in the future, but for now, I'm simply gonna disable the time wrap and here's the result. And there you have it. So thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. If so, please leave a thumbs up and do not hesitate to share with a friend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. À la prochaine.